is up you guys my name is Laura Reed if you haven't seen my videos before then definitely make sure to click that red subscribe button because I make videos every single week on travel lifestyle and tips and tricks like this video today so you can turn on my bell notifications so you don't miss any videos from me and let's get started with this video so today we're talking about some content creation hacks for those of you who are either maybe already Instagrammers or trying to be Instagrammers or just want a nice Instagram feed and want the most productive way to shoot content for it. What actually inspired me to make this video was I was on a press trip in Mexico last week at a hotel called the Hacienda Encantada. And if you guys have never heard of a press trip, basically what it is, is it's a trip where a hotel will invite you to come stay out for a few days. They give you a tour, show you the amenities, let you go around and take photos. But the primary thing of it is basically to take photos of the property. So this was definitely a work trip um, where I was going taking a bunch of photos and while I was doing it I was like hmm these are all the things I think about in my head so I thought it'd be something good to share with you guys. I also shoot a lot of travel videos and I did make a recent video on how to film a travel video. So if videos are more your thing then I'm gonna leave that right here so you guys can go check that out. I also have a how to edit a travel video so you guys can check those two things out. Alright so the first hack that I'm gonna talk about is location scouting. So when you first arrive to an area whether it be a hotel, a certain destination, maybe somewhere you've driven from your house, what I'll actually do is I'll take my cell phone and I'll go around and take pictures in the certain area or the framing that I want the photo to be taken in to see if it's actually gonna look good you can also get whoever you're with to maybe stand in take a photo of them try and figure out if that's where you like so that's actually what I did when we first arrived at the resort is I went around and took a bunch of photos just using my phone and kind of framed the shot for certain areas that I thought would look good for a photo and it was nice as well because they actually had us on a golf cart and one of the managers there was showing us around the property and we we actually got to see all areas of the property because the hotel we were staying at the Hacienda was really big and there was a lot of areas to explore so it's really nice to do that right at the beginning and then you don't have to worry about missing any areas so once you have that photo you can use that to help plan your outfit for what you'll want to shoot in that location or any props you want to bring the next content creation hack that's gonna make your photos so much better is using props now I have to say I have some friends who do a really stellar job of this one of them is my best friend Megan which I travel with a lot another person who integrates props really well into their photos is my friend Susie she was actually on the press trip as well in Mexico and she had bags full of props we were actually shooting on a boat one day and she had brought these shells that she filled her mask up with and just really unique fun stuff look at this commitment to the oh <laughs> sorry to the prop work she's filling this with shells that she brought from Amazon home. Prime Amazon look at that Amazon Prime will be your best friend in terms of props so you can get really creative with the use of props and use things you might not normally think of, but you can also use basic things such as hats, shells, books, cool glasses, blankets, baskets, wine glasses, and all of the above in one photo. Props are honestly a really great way to elevate your photos and take them to the next level. And what's nice as well is you can take a basic location and make it look like a really incredible photo. And it definitely takes practice to figure out how to properly use props, but using things like Pinterest or looking at other people's Instagram photos can help get you inspired for your own. All right, the next hack to get really good photos is to frame the photo yourself. And this might seem like kind of a basic concept, but honestly, it makes a world of a difference, especially if you're shooting with someone who doesn't necessarily know how to take photos but let's be honest most people don't have professional photographers waiting to take photos for them oftentimes it's friends taking them or maybe your mom or just some random person on the street I've heard of people doing that too being like can you take a photo for me and you hand them your camera but the trick in doing this is to frame your photo first and by doing this you're gonna get exactly the shot you want so all you want to do is you want to get the person that's taking the photo for you to go stand in the spot that you want to be and then set up the lighting do all the settings on the camera so it's exactly how you want it and make sure the focus point is going to be on where you'll be as well and I have done this so many times with my sisters and my mom and if you want to take it one step further and maybe the person who's taking the photo you don't really trust that they're going to be able to keep it in the spot um, you can bring a tripod then you can set everything up perfect get them to just snap the photo for you by pressing the button it's basically foolproof all right the next hack is to bring a bunch of different outfits and this is a really great way to 
save time, make the most out of your shooting session. Because if you found someone who's willing to go and take photos of you and get a bunch of content, then you want to make the most use out of that time and stretch that content out as long as possible. And the way to do that is to bring different outfits to make it look like different days. And even if you're just going to one location, usually in that one location, you can have a bunch of different areas that you can shoot photos in. So get creative, find areas that you might not normally think that you would use. So for example, when we were in Mexico, we actually got to go downtown Cabo San Lucas and walk around the town area. And we were trying to find places to shoot and nothing really seemed too kind of fun right off the bat. But the more we walked around, we found little nooks and crannies that we shot in. The reality of the situation yeah. we work in all Instagram the time. versus reality. Right? <laughs> So for example, my friend Chelsea, who was also on the press trip with us, found this area of flowers that was really beautiful in itself, but all around it there was garbage and it wasn't that cute at all. But all it takes is a tiny little space that looks somewhat nice and you can get a really nice photo. So this goes to show that you can really take any location and make it nice. You just need to get creative. Alright, the last hack and one that I think really applies to those of you who are content creators is to make the most out of your time that you have. I didn't know what to like officially title this, but I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. So when you're shooting photos in a specific location in a certain outfit, you want to use that and also take Instagram stories, also maybe take some video as well. And by doing this, you're gonna make the most use out of your time. So for me personally, while I'm taking photos, I'll make sure I get the shot that I wanted and then I'll do some video shots as well. And this is really good if you want to do video or if you need B-roll for a vlog, for example, if you're putting your stuff on YouTube or if you wanna do Instagram videos so that's what I'll do for all of my stuff and it really doesn't take that much more time but it's nice because then all of a sudden you have all this video content that you can work with all right guys so that is it for the video I really hope that you found it helpful and you got some useful tips that you can use for when you're out creating content and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and you guys can follow me on Instagram as well so you can see what type of content that I am currently shooting and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Because we're about to have a lot of fun. I have never snapped so well in my entire life. Yada, 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 yada. Or like a nice alleyway. No, actually there's not really not any nice alleyways. Guys, my legs are getting sweatier and sweatier by the hour. First hack that I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> I didn't know how slowly to put down my finger. Your content creating process. I said process three times. What to do with myself? <laughs>